camp we probably wandered around the area the first day we walked quite a lot probably mm-hmm. racked up 10k mm-hmm. you think yeah about that. And, then, and then down to the fjord and back was probably another about six. six seven about 70 70 75 okay yeah what's that in miles 50 miles about 50 miles yeah yeah. Like 50 miles. Feels more than yeah, that. But <laughs> 50 miles doesn't seem that much. Yeah. But if you stick 25 kilograms on your back, <laughs> it soon feels a bit heavier. There's going to be a lot of dinner. Good. I'm hungry. Yes. That looks awesome. Looks fantastic. Cheers. Take a bit more. Awesome. I don't think I'll be hungry. Yeah. Managed to um, smash up the tent we had on Devon Ice Cap. It was a pyramid tent with four big 10 foot long aluminium poles, and it was our only uh, shelter. And it fell off the side of the, the sledge when we were skidooing and the, all four poles bent at right angles and, um, and snapped and uh, that was a tricky moment especially when we found polar bear tracks as well at the same time Thank you I think the people of Greenland are, um, I don't know, they might feel a wee bit bemused by the kind of army of scientists and glaciologists and ecosystem people that have kind of descended on it in the last 15 <coughs> years or so. One, two, three. They're really felt friendly and welcoming, and, but they're, I don't know whether they feel like, well, yeah, we've been living with this and seeing it happening. And, especially with the sea ice changes. You know, what, what can you possibly add to what we know already? When you live there and you look up and see it every day, it's, yeah. it's just there. And you may see it change, but somebody coming from another part of the world to actually work on this, I think everybody's always a bit bemused. The ice sheet is a bit different because it's interior and the interactions of the people here with the ice sheet are much less than with the sea ice. The scale's quite phenomenal. 
um, flying over the ice sheet in a plane or a helicopter or whatever, it's just... Um, or walking. <laughs> <laughs> walking to the edge of it. It takes a long time. Um, there's no trees, there's no buildings. You don't get any real sense of scale until you're kind of on it. Greenland wasn't on the science mainstream until the late 1990s, early 2000s, really. But since then, it's just been, you know, overwhelmed with people like us coming out and doing research here.